Okay, hello Sagittarius. How you doing? How's everybody doing? I hope you're having a blessed Friday. All right. Hope everything's going the way you want it to go, the way you pray for it to go in your life. Okay. All right. So I'm doing a reading for you guys concerning the next 90 days of April, May, and June. Okay. This is a reading for all Sagittarians concerning the next 90 days. All right. Okay. So like, share, hit the notification button. Be notified when I post a video, you guys. Uh, new viewers, thank you for stopping by, checking my channel out. Gain some insight. Enjoy the reading. All right. I'd love for you guys to become a subscriber of my channel. All right. So let's get this started. Oh, and don't forget to check out the description box below. That fits benefits site. Whenever you get a chance, they have new items on their site. If you're working on yourself as far as trying to lose weight if you're on a diet plan they have things for you to help you on your diet plan um like meals teas you know they have added some things to the site to help you guys check it out check it out okay those ones that are going on a um a diet journey a weight journey of losing weight check that site out okay all right if the link below doesn't work go to my website um on my channel page and click on the site. Um, go to the website on my channel page. Click on the site. And um, it will take you straight to that website. All right. Okay. A young lady that I know, a very nice, sweet young lady, has been on her journey of success with this website and doing very well. So, you guys help her, help her out some more, help her grow some more. And um, find something on there you may like that can help you out on your journey. All right, so here we go. This benefits. Oh, I'm talking about this benefits. Sagittarius's energy. Sagittarius's energy concerning the next 90 days of April, May, and June, please. Sagittarius energy concerning the next 90 days of April, May, and June. Wow, a lot I see. Okay. Okay, let's go. I'll go with these cards. So we got the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. We have the Three of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. We have the Ace of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. We have Strength, Leo here. We have the Four of Pentacles here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So strong earth here. Yep. Eight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Okay. Oh, put it here. Okay, so let's see. Um, we're going to start with the Ten of Swords. So what's going to be going on with this Ten of Swords energy here? Um, clarify. Clarify this Ten of Swords for me, please. Clarify the Ten of Swords concerning the next 90 days and Sagittarius' energy. Clarify this Ten of Swords concerning the next 90 days and Sagittarius' energy. Okay, so we have the Two of Cups here. Somebody in your past, an air sign, may have betrayed you. Okay? They're coming back in. They're wanting a commitment. Prince of Cups, they're having a romantic thoughts about you. All right. They're coming in wanting the success at being um having a commitment with you. The stock art. This person could be watching you very closely. All right. Um, hoping to get a success with you. They're seeing you in the spotlight. This is Aquarius energy here, the star card. They're seeing you in the spotlight, being successful, growing, whatever you do, being popular, being in some type of fame, popularity. Clarify the star card concerning Sagittarius' energy. The wheel of fortune is here. Yeah, they're hoping for the wheel to turn in their favor. They could be going through some karma and they see you being successful, winning. They see you winning. All right? And this has this person wanting to come back in your life. Somebody you may have used to be committed to in the past. Okay, they see you as very successful. Right. Wanting the will to turn in their favor at coming in, healing things with you, between you and them. 
All right, the Nine of Wands, they're going through a struggle mentally and physically. All right, um, or they could have put you through this in the past. You could have went through a lot of bad karma with this person. King of Swords, they're coming in to speak some type of truth to you, all right? So you have somebody that's coming in to speak some truth to you. A Libra energy. This is a King of Swords, a Libra energy coming in. Somebody you could have been um, committed to in the past, or they're coming in wanting to commit it relationship with you um they see you as their true soulmate all right they may feel divinely connected to you as well they love you whoever this person is but they betrayed you in the past or you feel like they did all right or they just put you through a lot and you moved on into a new beginning well you're successful now yep Okay, so okay, so let's move on. That's for somebody. You have the three of pentacles. So let's clarify the three of pentacles. Clarify the three of pentacles for the next 90 days of April, May, and June concerning Sagittarius's energies, please. Clarify the three of pentacles concerning the next 90 days. Okay. We have the nine of pentacles is here. So somebody wants to work on a partnership of stability with you, or this is you. Um, you may need to add a partner in a situation where you may be building a business. All right. So maybe you need to add a partner in nine of pentacles where you are working hard. You know, in this situation, you are growing, but a partner can help you grow even more. Okay. Yep. In this situation, nine of pendants, nine of pentacles. You may, if you add a partner on, it can help you be more abundant in this area. Well, you're at a nine already, but it can get you to a 10. A earth sign, maybe. Maybe you know something about an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay, maybe you wanted to do things by yourself. You felt like you can handle it by yourself. You know, but um, you're being told at a part on it, it, it'll help you grow more. Clarify the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, yeah, Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, you'll grow more. You, you'll grow successful, more successful in this situation. You're at a nine, but you will become an Ace of Pentacles if you add a partner on this earth sign. This person is known, I guess, to be very successful in whatever they know. They may have a lot of more knowledge. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles. Or this could be somebody that wants to come in and work on a partnership with stability with you. They find you very abundant. They find you very um, strong, beautiful, secure within yourself. They see you working hard. They see you building wealth, you know, being, you know, independent, not needing help from anybody. And they're coming in wanting to um, successful new beginning of stability with you. Okay, it could be that as well if it's not in the business sector. Six of Swords is here. Okay, this person is wanting to come in and give you an equal give and take situation. All right, if this is a relationship um, energy, um, if it's a stability business type energy, once you bring this person on, they can help you gain balance in your business, okay? Money will come flowing in for you where you, you'll be successful, okay? Lovers, committed. As long as you stay committed to this um, situation, this is a gift to the divine, from the divine. Whatever your business is, it's blessed. It's something that was gifted to you from the divine, all right? If this is a relationship, this person is coming in to give you an equal give and take. The lovers, they're in love with you. This person is in love with you, um, Sagittarius. Okay, lovers. Clarify the lovers. They feel divinely connected to you. This person feels like they are called to be with you from the divine. That you're meant, uh, meant to them. And you are meant to be with them as well. They feel like that. You guys are meant to be together. Seven of Wands is here. Okay, so you may be, yeah, you may be fending this person off. And this person is the one for you. All right. This is a relationship energy. This person, you're fending this person off. 
or this could be them seven of wands they could be fending others off they could have a lot of options a lot of suitors um but they they're fending them off because they want to be with you because they're in love with you all right it's either one of those either you're fending this person off and this is dividing it for you relationship why i mean um stability wise financially wise <laughs> yeah this is a gift of this this whatever you're successful in whatever this is you got this is divinely meant for you all right hey the divine has gifted this to you um you may be if you bring this person on because you could be going through a situation right now where you're fighting suitors off bill collectors you know you may be going through a little struggle here you know your successful is growing yes sagittarius but you're still having to fight suitors off bill collectors off when you bring this person in they have knowledge in that area they have knowledge in the financial area and when it comes to money business this person has the knowledge so they can help you in that sector where you won't have to no longer worry about fighting any um financial suitors off okay seven of wands Okay, they can heal that area. They can help you, give you knowledge in that area. All right. Okay, so moving on. Ace of Swords. Clarify the Ace of Swords concerning the next 90 days of April, May, and June. Okay, in um, Sagittarius' energy, please. Clarify this Ace of Swords. Okay, so the Five of Pentacles is here clarity you're gonna get some type of clarity or there's somebody yeah there's somebody wants a successful new beginning with you or somebody that you have out in the cold that you blocked um they're trying to gain clarity how to get you to bring them out of the cold so y'all can embark on a successful new beginning this is gemini Libra aquarius energy okay they could have some taurus virgo capricorn it's a lot of earth in their chart prince of pentacles is here Okay, yeah, they want a new beginning of growth with you, this person. Queen of Cups, they're very emotional about you. All right. Use your intuition. Queen of Cups is here. Scorpio energy. Use your intuition. All right. When this person comes in, before you accept whatever they offer they're coming in with, clarify the Queen of Cups. Clarify the Queen of Cups concerning um, Sagittarius's energy. Concerning the next 90 days of April, May, and June. Clarify. Okay, so the Prince of Wands is here. Mm. Yeah, because they're going to come in. They want they want you to take a risk. This person is very impulsive. They hold a lot of passion for you. They're very passionate when it comes to you. They're very emotional over you. All right? You tempt this person in some type of way. Okay? So they're wanting this new beginning of growth. This is how they feel about you. If they don't get their way, they might be a little un they may become a little unstable. All right. They may get angry, become a little cool because they're not getting their way with you if you refuse this person. So be careful. Use your intuition. Um the Ten of Wands is here. Okay. Um, you, this person may have been a burden to you and you release this person, or you know, they may be put a burden in your life, you know. Okay, the world card. Yeah, you may need to end this cycle with this person and embark on a new beginning. Or you did this with this person. So, you know, remember why you released this person in the past. If you released them, if there was a burden in your life and you released this person and you embarked on a new beginning, you know, ask yourself, why should I go back to this if it was so horrible, you know? Okay, strength card. Moving on. Strength card. Leo energy here. They clarify. Clarify the strength card concerning the next 90 days of April, May, and June. And Sagittarius' energy, please. Okay, the four swords. Wow. We got the sword, four swords. Somebody, you're going to get some communication from a Leo. Okay, they want to communicate to you. They want to heal things with you. So they're coming in, maybe wanting your forgiveness. Okay, within the next 90 days. Clarify the four swords. Clarify the four swords and uh, concerning the next 90 days. 
Better find the four of swords concerning the next 90 days of April, May, and June. Okay, the five of wands is here. Yeah, this is somebody you may have been um going through a lot of arguing with this person. They want to heal things, they want to give forgiveness because they might have this could be somebody that went through an abusive situation with someone. Five of Wands. It was arguing, fighting. It may have kept a lot of confusion in your life. You know, kept up a lot of drama. Um, yeah. Clarify the Five of Wands. Clarify the Five of Wands concerning, um, yeah, Eight of Wands. Yeah, they're, they're coming in with communication very quickly. All right. You could have already had communication with this person. They could have already came in wanting your forgiveness. Um, they want to move forward with you on a quick, fast basis. All right? So they're coming in with communication. You could excite this person. Ten of Pentacles is here. Yeah, you made this person feel safe, secure, and stable. They want that, that comfortable feeling back that they had with you. So they know they have to apologize to you for whatever they did. They have to come here and get this forgiveness off the ground. Yeah, they know they have to heal things with you before they can even move forward with you. The sun call. Yeah, you made this person happy. All right? So they know they have to ask your forgiveness just so they could, um, the chariot, cancer energy here, so they could charge for it successfully in a new beginning with you. But this is a strong Leo. They could, um, they could have some cancer in this y'all. Or y'all dealing with a, a Leo and uh, some of y'all dealing with a cancer. Okay? Some could be dealing with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. Or you have that earth in your chart. Okay? Ooh, here we go. Moving on. Four of Pentacles. Um, clarify this Four of Pentacles concerning the next 90 days and concerning the next 90 days for April, May, and June, Sagittarius' energy. Okay, so there. Okay, so this is a four pinnacle. This is the card of control, the card of value, um, the card of you know financial situation where you may be going through some type of struggle financially. So there's a four pinnacles emperor here. Okay, so you may be have a business, or you may be manifesting something that you want in your life financially wise. Um, or there could be somebody that values you to the point where they're, they're controlling your life. They may be too bossy controlling Aries energy here. All right. You may see this person as too bossy and controlling. They're just holding on to you. They may be too codependent on you, Sagittarius. Okay. The lovers is here. I mean, tower is here. Okay. Yes. There's a tower moment going, you know, on between you and this person where maybe they're too bossy and controlling for you. Right, but they're holding on to you for their life. They value you. They don't want to lose you. This person is codependent on you for something. All right, or you see this person is too codependent. Um, the tower. The tower is here. There, the, within the next ninety days, you may go through a tower with this person. Clarify the tower, or you're already going through a tower with this person. Clarify the tower concerning the next ninety days. Hey, the, the Ace of Wands. This person holds a lot of passion for you. And they want a passionate new beginning with you. It could be a situation they see somebody else holding on to you. Right? There's Aries and they're manifesting you, willing you. They want you. But you could be in a codependent situation, Sag, where either you have to take care of somebody or somebody's taking care of you. And they want you released from that situation. They could be manifesting this um willingness you know doing everything in their power you know to um see that you're released from this situation yeah a tower yeah they could be manifesting a tower or waiting on this situation to happen so they could get a passionate new beginning with you because they hold a lot of passion for you aries energy here yeah king of wands yeah, you can only satisfy this person to the utmost. Whatever it was going with, on with y'all sexually or mentally, um, they're holding on to you. They love it. It's the best to this person. All right? The devil, they're obsessed over you. They are obsessed over you. This person, it's like they're addicted to you. This person can have some addictions as well that they need to work on. Um, but they are, wow. This person, they're holding on to you. 
but you are in a codependent situation where they're waiting for a tower or they're manifesting a tower. They could be doing some little magic. So a tower, you know, it happened. The full card. Yeah. There's some kind of risk going on here. This person wants another chance with you. Um, they may try to take some type of risk. Mm. Yeah, or they're wanting you to take a risk, or they may have some communication with you. I don't see a communication card here, but it may be something that they're going to want you to do, take a risk with them, a leap with them, all right? So somebody's in a um, codependent situation, or you can see this person is being too codependent, okay? All right, so the next 90 days, Eight of Pentacles is here. The next 90 days, concerning the next 90 days, is Sagittarius' energy concerning um, April, May, and June's energy. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles concerning the next 90 days of April, May, and June for Sagittarius' energy, please. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles concerning the next 90 days. Of April, May, and June in Sagittarius energies, please. Ooh, this one don't want to uh, come out. Clarify the eight. Okay, the four of cups is here. Somebody's wanting to rebuild stability with you. A earth sign, okay? With water, with spicy Scorpio cancer. Okay, they're, they're trying to figure out what to offer you. Okay, they're coming in with an offer and they're trying they're having a hard time trying to figure out what to offer you so y'all can move forward and rebuild stability. And they're they're willing to put in the hard work at re rebuilding with you. Um clarify this four cups concerning the next ninety days of April, May, and June and Sagittarius' energy. Okay, the seven of pentacles is here. Yeah, they're looking into all kinds of options on what to offer you. All right. Okay, the three of wands, they're waiting. This person's been waiting on you a long time to be able to reveal stability with you. Sag, yeah, that's your energy. Sag, Leo, energy. they see you as their fulfillment. The three of wands. This person sees you as their fulfillment. They've been waiting for you a long time. Yep, to be able to reveal stability with you, Sag. Okay, Queen of Pentacles, they find you to be very nurturing. Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy here, Taurus energy. They find you as very nurturing, okay, to them. All right, they see you as very beautiful. Wow, they know you love nice things. Um, they love the way you dress. You dress very luxurious to this person. Um, you, you're stable, they, you know, you're secure, you're strong to this person, beautiful. And this has them wanting stability, wanting to work on me building this stability with you. They see you handle yourself very discreetly, you know. They love that. Um, the magician is here, Aries energy. Okay, they're manifesting you. Okay, this person is manifesting you. Aries energy. So they could have Aries in their chart. Okay. They're manifesting what they want. They're manifesting you back in their life at you accepting them at rebuilding stability with them. So they are doing a little work. Either it's mental or either they, they know the tools. They got the tools and they're using them. You know, it could be some love spells going on here. Them trying to pull you in. All right. So that's what I have for you, Sagittarius. Like share, hit the notification button to be notified. Uh, when I post a video, this was your next 90 days reading of april may and june all right i hope you guys enjoyed i hope you gained some insight on something you needed to um, gain insight on be good you guys continue to be blessed um don't forget to subscribe also don't forget to check out that fits benefit site i love you guys be good i'm out of here